Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to another one of the Great Monster Hobbies YouTube channels. Well, we have just wrapped up Halloween and I went out as a pickle. You know, I once had a girlfriend named Olive, but uh, it didn't work out. You see, we, c we couldn't see eye to eye. The reason why we couldn't see eye to eye is because she refused to wear her martini glasses. Anyway, with that joke over. Uh, so this year we hosted the Build a Monster contest for 2024. Now this year the contest was a bit smaller and the reason for that was usually I hosted these contests on my Facebook page. But this year in the summer, actually just before we went on summer break, the YouTube or the Facebook channel, uh, sorry, the Facebook page, the Monster Hobbies Facebook page was hacked by some hacker and they started putting up Archer pictures from the show or Reacher, Reacher, one of them. Anyway, so that was hacked and I couldn't put my Build a Monster contest on that Facebook page and advertise, advertise it, whatever, because I couldn't get access in there. Whoever hacked it got me, uh, like hacked into my account, booted me off as moderator or anything and I couldn't access my business Monster Hobbies Facebook page. So I made a whole new one called the Monster Hobbies uh, Online Retail Outlet. That's what I call it, Monster Hobbies Online Retail Outlet. And there, just sort of in the month before, so September, I reintroduced the contest there. And because it's a whole new Facebook page, I don't have very many followers on there yet. But luckily, I had three people enter the contest this year. So we'll take a look at their entries and then how they did. And like I said, because this is a small contest this year, it, this video is going to be short. So to fill this video out, I thought I would actually film my house on Halloween and show you what I did out here to have a good Halloween. So without further ado, let's get into the video and we'll see just how great this whole contest and the Halloween house was.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I'd like to thank everyone that entered and all of you for watching it. And yeah, it sure was good. A lot of great models this year, even though <laughs> there was hardly anybody to enter based on the circumstances, like the Facebook page getting hacked and reestablishing a brand new one. So next year, actually starting today, November the 1st, we are going to start to get ready to reopen a new Monster Hobbies. Now, this will be later in the year, so this time period now. See, <clears throat> we had to close our brick-and-mortar store down at, in about 2020 because of COVID. So I've been working at a grocery store up till now. Well, I'm still working there. So now November 1st, 2024. So in this span between 2024 and 2025, we're going to start to rebuild and try to get a Monster Hobbies brick and mortar store open for 2026. So we're taking this one year period now to get everything worked out. New business plan, which I never had before. So this will be a business plan coming in that is going to make Monster Hobbies invincible <laughs> so that any more of these kind of like COVIDs or anything that come up are not going to close our brick and mortar store ever again. So we have plans. We're not going to share them here, but we're just going to share the enthusiasm that coming into 2026, there's going to be a new Monster Hobbies opening up in town <clears throat> somewhere. So we still have a lot of work to do, but this is going to be that time period from November 1st, 24 to November, well, I guess October 31st, 25, right? 24 to 25 a year to build up all the money, get the business plan together, figure out expenses, find locations, get inventory, all that jazz, invest money, the whole enchilada, <laughs> the whole pickle. I don't know. Everything in the pickle jar. Anyway, but that's the plan, to get it all back together, to get it going so that next year's Monster Hobbies Build a Monster Contest is going to be like properly hosted, sponsored, radio ads, um, big prizing. I'll see if I can get back together with um, with Ron Chaney, uh, great-grandson of Lon Chaney, who, of course, was Phantom of the Opera. And that movie is now going to be 100 years in 2025, so maybe... Just maybe, there might be a chance here that uh, next year's Build a Monster contest might involve the Phantom of the Opera. Now, I did that before a few years ago, but what the heck. We could always redo it, and Ron Chaney gave a whole bunch of prizes for that one back then. So maybe we'll do it again. Um, that'd be cool. But this is all just plans and ideas. But definitely, now, November 1st, 24, October 31st, 25, that's going to be the get everything ready to go for reopening in 26. So I hope you'll wish me all luck. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Happy model building. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next pickle jar. And just like that, on November the 1st, Halloween was officially over. And it was really frosty. Look at our tree. <laughs> Look at the neighborhood. It's like it's winter wonderland. Look at how crisp the frost is off of this guy. <laughs> our little tombstone. Our pumpkin's probably a <laughs> rock right now. Never got to carve it, but that's okay. Look at how frosted this is. <laughs> it's just insane. Look at the witch's hat. A lone car drives by in the distance. Here's Frankenstein frozen. Oh yeah. Really turned into winter out here. Unbelievable. Let's test the pumpkin. Oh yeah. This was, you could hear it sounding hollow last night. <laughs> Look at this guy with the icicles hanging off the bottom. Oh, look at how frosted the back. Oh, you can't see it. Hold on. How's that? Look at how frosty he is. <laughs> Crazy. 
even James Dean Frankenstein here. He got all frosted over. And our ghost. He ran out last night. <clears throat> batteries got low. I used old batteries on them. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, so that is our Halloween. <laughs>